Previously on Drake Paragon. We're a little bit too close, but are you seeing this thing? Look at this thing, it's beautiful. Wow, look how the sun's going through that big crack. Hello, little friend. Well, we've decided to push off. We uh, kind of wanted to stay here for another day in uh, Kangasuk, but uh, we re-examined the weather report and decided that tomorrow is probably not a good day to push on to the next place. Today is a much better weather day for going about 45 miles to Arsuk. Some icebergs or bergy bits coming in. You can see as I scan around here towards the opening to the harbor, we've got a number of small bergy bits that are headed this way. The one that hit us this morning is now up on the rocks there and is breaking apart. Sure would have liked to have spent another day here, but we've really got to get going. Pressure's good, temperature's rising. We're out of here. Give us a little shot of forward to bring us closer to the anchor. And I'll run up and start raising it. probably eat this seaweed.
Good night, Hunger Suck. We'll probably come back here someday. Yeah, 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 we're gonna go out there. Okay. Sometimes there's gotta be this balance between following the chart plotter and then following what you see visually. Usually, you trust what you see visually more than the chart plotter. Sometimes there's gotta be a little balance. Right there, that's where we anchored. I never thought I'd be motoring around ice. Oh, do we need any more ice? For drinks? <laughs> so a little bit to starboard. Starboard. How's speed through the water? 1.7. I remember when icebergs used to totally freak me out. It's not so scary, you just gotta motor around them. As long as you've got good weather conditions, good visibility, you can see them and they show up on radar for the most part. There are a lot of seals.
happy days. Right. Wow. Ouch. Wonder how long he'll last before he disintegrates, gets broken up on the rocks. I never thought I'd be motoring by scenery like this. When in doubt, Frodo, follow your nose. <laughs> I'm glad my nose is pointing this way, so we're going this way. <laughs> we'll be in Arsuk in a few hours. Yeah. I can't find any other anchorage between Arsuk and the next one, which is too far away to get to today. Yeah. Because the winds are kind of from the south. From the south. Yeah, tomorrow. yeah. Tomorrow. Day after, I think, is stronger again. Yeah, so it's two days in Arsuk. Yeah. Check this out. What's that? We're on course of 145, yeah. 45. It's saying 140 to steer. Yeah. So. And our actual course of the ground is 155, 162, a little higher than. Yeah. This is what we should steer, and that's what we actually we are, are steering. Are tracking. And I usually just look at the trail that it leaves behind. That shows what we're actually doing, and we're kind of going that way. Yeah. So it looks like we need a small adjustment to the port. So I'll just turn this knob a tiny bit to port, and then sit and wait and observe. See how we look in like five minutes as far as the track goes. There's a glacier. See this white area up there? In between the two mountains, just up here. Yeah, that's a glacier. What is a glacier? So, oh. <laughs> for the kitties back home. For the kitties back home. It's like a river of ice that's flowing into the sea, and so what happens is the river of ice is getting pushed in towards the water, and then when it gets to the water, little bits of the river break off, and they're the icebergs that are floating around. And 90% of the icebergs that are floating around in Canada come from Western Greenland. From glaciers. From glaciers, which we're passing by. There's one over there. It's a big iceberg. That thing is just too amazing. Look at that. I've never seen anything like it. It's a massive snow structure. Don't want to get too close just in case it calves. about as close as we want to get. It's just breathtakingly beautiful. I mean, look at this. 